To begin, let's check for proper setup. Is the rotor set in place with the drum engaged on the driver? Make sure that the drum is engaged. Are the drip trays set in place in the bottom of the rotisserie? Now check the drawer drain valve on the drip pan. The drain valve on the grease drawer needs to be in the off position. Next, turn the main power switch located on the front panel to on. Press 1 and then start. Let's get started by preparing the birds. Place the bird cavity over the spindle, folding and crossing the legs. Hook the leg ends under the side rod of the chicken rack. Tuck the wings and fold the wings behind the birds, breaking at the top joint if needed. When the birds are ready, place the racks of birds on the cart and store in the cooler until you are ready to use. To begin the cooking process, start by loading the birds. Load the birds directly from the cart into the preheated oven. Place the rack on the rotor drum. Skip this rack. Load this rack next. Move the rotor drum by pressing this keyboard button. When you push to and start, the cooking begins. Check the temperature at the thigh toward the end of the cooking cycle. The proper temperature at the thigh is 185 degrees Fahrenheit. If it appears you will not reach 185 degrees Fahrenheit, press the Add 5 Minutes button. At the end of the cooking cycle, the oven will go into a hold cycle. To reduce shrinkage, we recommend that you remove the birds as soon as the cooking cycle ends. The longer the birds remain in the hold cycle, shrinkage will occur. Remember, always wear insulated gloves when unloading the racks. Remove the rack from the rotisserie by holding it at each end. Now, place the birds on a tray by tilting the rack toward the tray. Finally, place the birds in a dome container, label, and immediately put into a hot case. <laughs> Your cleaning supplies should include a mild detergent, some sponges or a soft cloth, and paper towels. Begin cleaning the unit with the drip tray. Place the tray in hot soapy water using a mild detergent. Clean using a sponge or soft cloth. Do not use any type of abrasive cleaning pad. The rotor drum needs to be removed daily for cleaning. Again, place it in hot soapy water using a mild detergent and a soft cloth or a sponge to clean. To clean the grease drawer, drain the grease drawer by placing a metal container on the floor below the grease drawer drain valve and open the drain. When drained completely, close the drain valve and remove. Wash the drawer in a sink with a solution of warm water and detergent. Any hard soil can be scrubbed with a non-scratching pad or a brush. Rinse the drawer and allow it to dry. The grease in the drawer can be hot. Allow it to cool before cleaning. Here are some cleaning guidelines. The rotor, drip pan, and racks are all non-stick surfaces. Clean them with a mild detergent and warm water using a soft cloth or sponge to remove food residue. Rinse and let them dry. Do not use abrasive cleaning pads, sharp instruments, or harsh chemicals such as oven cleaner, 
they will damage the nonstick coating. Wash down the interior of the oven with warm soapy water and a soft cloth or a sponge. Rinse thoroughly and dry with a soft clean cloth. Clean the glass door with warm soapy water and a soft cloth. Do not use abrasive cleaning pads, sharp instruments, or harsh chemicals. <laughs> Place the grease drawer back in the rotisserie with the handle in the off position. Place the drip trays in the bottom of the rotisserie. Set the rotor drum in place, making sure that the drum is engaged on the driver arm. This concludes operator training for the Walmart Rotisserie Chicken Program. If you have any questions, contact your supervisor. With proper use and care, your rotisserie oven will provide years of outstanding service.